Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to our fearless lovers. Yeah, fearless lovers. <laughs> so, what are we going to talk about today? Talking about anger. Anger. Anger in relationships. Yes, yes. And anger is one of the most hardest things for people to address, right? The people don't Nobody want to admit. Wants they don't want to admit that they get angry. Yeah. Really, if you ask anybody, I don't never get angry. That's right. <laughs> I don't have a problem with anger. If you ask anybody, they'll say, I don't never get angry. Am I right? Yeah, I don't need no help with that. All right. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about why it's important for you to control your anger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of us know that we were, we've done some things in the past that I've said some things to people that we really want to take back. And it's, it's, it's tough. So. Mm -hmm. so here it is. You know, we do anger management for the court. Mm -hmm. And these are the reasons why people walk into our office mm -hmm. or call us up, you know, for our over the phone sessions or sign up for our court in anger management. You know, you can face criminal charges. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people. That's how they really realize that okay, I have an anger problem, or I may be seeing things differently than other people see. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, because we really don't want to admit that we have an anger problem. But if you feel like you're seeing things differently, you're always getting in trouble. Uh, people leaving your your life, you know, like maybe it be a loved one or friends or those kind of things. You know, you will end up by yourself if you start being angry toward people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we want to kind of list these reasons out is so that you can kind of catch it before it gets to this point. Yeah. Because that's the issue, you know. Usually people call us when they're in crisis. Mm -hmm. You know, not when maybe they yell at a coworker and their boss takes them in the office and says, hey, you know, maybe you shouldn't talk to, you know, your colleagues in this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have a problem with anger. Yeah. But when they get fired, that's when, it, and then it's kind of like a spiraling effect. So mm -hmm. you go home, you're upset about losing your job, and then maybe you tell your spouse or loved one, oh man, I lost my job. Then they get upset. And then you, you know, you may really need this job, you know, to feed your family. And then also, you know, people are going to talk around the neighborhood, oh, so and so got fired, this guy, you know. And then if it's a pattern, then people can start looking in a different way. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So with one, catch it on the front end. Catch it before you have criminal charges. Catch it before you're in a place where your wife is like, I'm ready to divorce you. Mm -hmm. Catch it before, you know, maybe your family gets broken up. This is real, you know? People have children. Now you can't get along with your partner. Now you can't see your kids but once or twice a week. So catch it before it even gets to that. And if it has gotten to that, you can turn it around right. by how you communicate with each other, you know? heartbroken children you know your finances get messed up just think about divorce how that rocks your financial world you know now you got to sell your house your assets you got to split things up you got to pay child support you know these are real issues depression you know if you lose interest for things that you like to do mm -hmm. you get really down life gets really hard mm -hmm. it gets hard to get out the bed it gets hard to do things yeah. All because of an anger outburst, potentially, mm -hmm. and a loss that resulted from that. Mm -hmm. You know, health complications, addiction. Right. Right. You know, that's a major issue with addiction is that spiraling of that anger and the irritability and coping with anger by maybe having a drink or doing some other things you shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, publicly you could be embarrassed, career difficulties, and most importantly, you lose a lot of time. A lot of time. A lot, and, and a lot of stuff that has been said that you can't really change people's perceptions on your, uh, their image that they have of you too. So people have that high image of you, but then if you do things to break that image down, then it, it's only because of you that, that they have formed those opinions of you. So you have to be aware and, and understand your actions. Because if you don't, you always know that people are always taking taking notice, and you're jeopardizing a lot of things, whether it be your livelihood, your family structure, all of those things. Mm -hmm. You could be jeopardizing, and just one outburst, just mm -hmm. one, you know, and because it just takes a split second to throw away everything. You know? Pastor Duran, talk about Jesus turning over the table in the tabernacle. He got angry. He got angry. I mean, because. Basically, he was upset about them turning his father's house into like a storefront. They was trading and all those things. 
So he was upset, you know, and of course that was fulfilling prophecy as well. But everybody gets angry. That emotion takes over. Mm -hmm. And when that emotion takes over, then it's how you react to it. You know, so are you going to turn over some tables and get upset? You know, Jesus was able to do it because he was the son of God. You know, but if you turn over some tables at work, if you turn over some tables in a restaurant, then you may be subject to jail time. And, you know, and that's a real thing, you know, because people do get upset. Whether it be in an argument, you could be in a, a public place, a restaurant or whatever, get into an argument and then somebody calls the police that's not really in that argument. But then police get involved and then somebody could be going to jail and you could be jeopardizing your livelihood. Whether you be, we've seen nurses come in and, and doctors and lawyers, I mean, they're jeopardizing certain things because they got angry over certain things because we're all people, we're all human. Mm -hmm. Nobody's perfect. Nobody always has the right answer. None of these things. So we do make mistakes, mm -hmm. but we want to try to catch ourselves be before we get to that breaking point of making that mistake. So rule number one, anger is on level. You could be angry at 100, maybe at 50%, 30%. Mm -hmm. So it's just knowing yourself and learning yourself so you can control it before it gets to 100. Because <laughs> when you hear that song in your head, level up, level up. Level up, level up, level up. That's what's gonna happen. You're leveling up to to the outburst, you know. And if you do have that outburst, then you're jeopardizing a lot of things, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And just you know, also with that, anger kind of clues you into if your values are being impacted mm -hmm. and if you feel passionate towards something. Right. So if you're really getting angry, it's because deep down in your heart you feel passionate about it and you feel like maybe you're under a threat or attack. So those values are being, you know, threatened at mm -hmm. that moment. So you feel that passion. So just learning to control it before it gets to a hundred is why it's so important to manage your anger. Very, very important. Very important. So, you know, with that, you know, like we said, it's okay to be angry. It helps you maintain your values. You know, but just think of all the things you lose when you lose control of your anger, your self-control. Other people don't respect you as they should because they say, oh, they have no control over themselves. You know, mm -hmm. the privacy of your thoughts, you know, direction, your mental well-being. Just think if you're always in that keyed up state, how you're going to function. You're going to have a hard time concentrating and focusing and resting. <laughs> <laughs> but people would love to see you have an outburst. They love to see you go off because that's something that they've always wanted to do, but then just couldn't do. Mm -hmm. You know. But when you do it, just know that now mm -hmm. you've already you've already just cast judgment on yourself, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, because people know your your most intimate thoughts about that situation. You show your emotions. You wear your heart on your sleeve. Those type of things. You know. So people people take notice of that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to close with that, but most importantly, know that when you express anger at 100%, you're giving away your peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're giving your control to whomever you're angry at at that point. Mm -hmm. They win yeah. because they've allowed your emotions to become so heightened that you have no control over yourself anymore. Right. And a lot of times that's what they want. Mm -hmm. As your energy and your serenity and your peace, that's what they want, you know. Especially if they have stressed out lives and things that they've been going through. So it's best to come to them from a place of understanding and love. And that anger, if you can control yours, then you can control things around you or people around you as well. Mm -hmm. So fearless loving, love one another. Right. Stay away from anger, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah control it. All right. We'll talk to you soon.